every day I get on the internet and I kind of look around, you know, I browse around the different channels and things like that in the gig community. And I'm seeing something that I, I didn't believe that I was ever going to see. I'm seeing silence. I'm seeing silence on the fact that we have a city that actually has a functioning app that many drivers are using, many riders are using a functioning app and there ain't no other channel talking about it other than mine. Ain't that some shit? We sitting here looking up in Minnesota, looking at how Uber and Lyft's time out leaving. Oh, they need this app, they need that app, they need a new app, they need, and people talk about the new apps that they got coming out. Minneapolis might have a new app. Ooh, it might be a new way to do ride share. Might... We're in Phoenix. We have a new way, we're using a new way, we're doing a new way. We're getting ride-alongs put on channels. We got amounts and totals, we're showing up at events and not a single peep from any other channel than mine about a functioning rideshare. And people wonder, why don't rideshare just go to another city? You're seeing why. There's no traction when a new app comes out. There's no, oh, we, we could probably do better now. You know, we got an app that's willing to help drivers and riders out. We got some help now. Everybody's focusing on what? Uber, Lyft, the problems with Uber and Lyft. We have a solution to Uber and Lyft. We sitting on a solution every day. We're using solution. The CEOs are meeting up with us. The directors of marketing are meeting up with us. We all got the apps on our phone. We're driving around. We're giving out cars. We're picking up passengers. We're wearing our gear. And ain't no other channel seeing this shit other than mine. Ain't no other channel. That's why I say watch who you listen to. And I mean that shit when I say watch who you listen to. Because you might be watching a channel that's not watching out for you. We're trying to build this app. It's not my app, it's an Arizona based app. So it's probably good that it landed in Arizona before it landed at any other of these other fucking places. Cause they don't even mention it. A functioning app. That's actually making drivers more money. We're not driving that many miles and we're getting paid way more. I'm on the base platform getting paid way more than what I get on Lyft base, on UberX base for what a dollar a day. Meanwhile, Uber and Lyft, how much in fees do you make a day? Do me a favor. Get on your app, go through every ride you did that day, every ride you did that day, and add up all the external fees. Add up all the Lyft and Uber fees. Just add it up. Because you know what we pay, hum? One dollar in fees per day. One dollar. It's a subscription app. I give them one dollar. Add up all your fees to Uber. One dollar is all we pay in fees. Nobody else is talking about this shit. And people fly into Phoenix. People were flying into the Mesa Gateway. They should know this app exists in Phoenix when they get here. They shouldn't only be sitting there saying, oh, well, in my city, since I don't have hum, I'm not going to talk about hum. Hum can spread, but it's going to take a whole lot of people to talk about it. When we want to spread a protest, a whole lot of people talk about it. Why is it that we have a solution and we don't have a whole lot of people talking about it? Why is that? Is this a whole situation where people just want to talk about problems all day and no solutions? When I talk about problems, I always come up with a solution. When I talk about a problem, I come up with the fix right after the problem. I've been talking about low fares. I've been talking about we need a way to do private rides. We need a way to drive around with, you know, affordable commercial insurance. I've been saying this shit. And are we not doing it? Did an app not listen? Did an app out there not listen and say, hey, we got something that fits what you're doing, Jeff. We got something that fits what you're talking about, Jeff. Yet all of these random ass YouTube channels want to talk about me when I talk shit about commercial insurance. They're going to talk about commercial insurance. When I talk about livery insurance, they make a whole damn video about livery and commercial insurance, ride share insurance, uh, non-emergency medical transit rides. They talk about all the shit I talk about, but they don't talk about this. They don't talk about the solution. Why is that? You need to ask yourself that shit. Why don't these other channels talk about it? What is, do they not see his videos? Even if they don't see them, why are they not speaking about it? They're all they're doing is showing other apps that are coming out. You may not have a channel that's got your back. You may not have somebody who's going to give you a platform to help other drivers. There's only one channel that's going to do it. Fucking Mike Drop Barbecue will do it. You got an app? Hit up Mike Drop Barbecue. He'll talk about it. He's doing what it takes to get drivers to get more money. The rest of these channels, they're doing what it takes to get more views. I'm not. I told you, I'm not mass media. I'm not mainstream media. I come at you straight and direct from the street. So when I'm giving you real time information, this shit is way before, I told you the news media is short bus. They always late, they always late. We always on the front edge of shit over here. This is a front edge app. This is a leading the way app 
to other apps that might say, hey, we want to copy that same shit in our city. This ain't in every city. It's in Phoenix right now. Phoenix and all the surrounding cities. It's an Arizona company right now. But who's to say it can't spread to another state? Who's to say it can't go help out another city? But why should it? If ain't nobody even trying to pull for it, we might just leave this shit in Arizona. Leave that shit there. We get the money. But here we are fighting for motherfuckers in New York. We fighting for motherfuckers in Minnesota, Seattle, California, Colorado, Atlanta. But Phoenix step up, motherfuckers is like, uh, I ain't got nothing to say. Speak on it. Speak on it. And I'm not saying you got to be jealous of it. I'm not saying you got to hate on it. I'm not saying none of that shit. What I'm saying is if there's a functioning app that people can fly in from another city into my city and use, why wouldn't you tell them that? Hey, you going to Phoenix? Make sure you download this Hum app on your phone, man. Because we got Phoenix drivers out there. We got brothers and sisters out there who don't want to do Uber and Lyft no more. They're trying to grow this other app. Use that app when you in Arizona. Because I guarantee if a new app opened in Minneapolis, all you motherfuckers will be talking about it right now. Oh, Uber and Lyft can leave. They can leave because guess what app's open in Minneapolis now? That's the first thing y'all ass will be saying on every fucking channel out there. But yet we got something already because we're not trying to be Minneapolis. We're not trying to be, you know, held by the balls if they want to leave and shit. We're trying to build before that day comes. But just like when the protest grows, just like when we do things with the protest, when we do things with strikes or whatever the hell people want to call it, what do we do? We all support it. We all push for drivers. So why is it that this app comes along and people love it? We're going to have the CEO on this channel. I'm going to have the director of market on this channel. I'm going to have other drivers that are driving home on this channel. And we're going to discuss it because this shit might end up in your city. Even if it don't end up in your city, that don't mean you can't support it. The shit that's going on in Minneapolis ain't in my city, but I supported them. I put videos on it. I brought that shit to lighten awareness. I tell everybody down here about it because that's what we do as a driving community. How many channels do you hear speak about the solution that we're doing right now in Arizona? How many? Zero other than Mike Drop Barbecue. Not a single motherfucker out there is like, man, I think Fink's probably figured out what we can do. Smaller apps do have a chance if we all stick up for each other and stand for each other, be a brotherhood, be a sisterhood, we could do this. But with what I'm seeing on the internet, I never thought I'd see the day when I'd be going through news feeds, hoping one day I would open it up and be like, Hum is slowly growing, man. I saw another channel talking about it. Instead, oh, another channel talking about commercial insurance. Another channel talking about livery insurance. Another channel talking about, you know, expanding, you know, cab services. Another channel talking about, you know, drivers getting shot and killed. Why are we talking about, we talk about all these fucking problems. Why are we not talking about a solution? Ask yourself that. When you're watching this video, ask yourself, why are we not discussing the solutions? Why are these channels not discussing the solution? Y'all ain't got to know shit about it as far as, well, how does it work? How do, you don't have to know how it works. Shit, half the shit we look at it and we don't know how it works, but we speak about it to learn how it works. We at least bring it up. We will have ride-alongs on HUM. I've kind of explained how to do manual rides, how to do cash rides, how we still have insurance. And we go to these meetups, we discuss it way more in depth in person, which is why the meetups need to expand. More drivers need to show up who want to get off this plantation that they call Uber and Lyft, constantly taking money away from you, constantly adding more fees, doubling fees, adding 50, 60% fees on top of fees. And yet we have a company saying, hey, you guys, we just want to grow. We want to help you guys make money. We're a subscription service. We buy the insurance. All you guys do is drive. The more subscriptions we get, the bigger the company we can get, the more riders we can get, the more market share we can get. Is this not a solution to what we've been talking about? I don't hear nobody talking about it. And that's cool, because if that's how it's going to be, real shit, if that's how it's going to be, don't come to me saying, hey, Jeff, we need your support on this. Jeff, can you back us on this? Can you make a video and put this out, Jeff? Can you? Why should I? Why should I? Because when I'm presenting a, a situation that can possibly expand be, beyond the state of Arizona, not a single one of you motherfuckers is speaking on it. Help Minnesota think. Help the drivers up there think. Help the ones in New York, the ones in Seattle, the ones in Florida, the ones in Texas. Help everybody think that a small app can make a big difference if we all pull for it, if we all support it. Because if we don't do it, Y'all plantation motherfuckers gonna keep people on the plantation because all you talk about is the plantation. You gotta get off the plantation at some point and speak about, hey, I think we kind of found a way. Let's research, let's invest time, energy, effort. 
Let's figure out how we can get this app going so we have a cushion against the shit Uber and Lyft is pulling. Don't come to my channel asking me to give no love, give no support, give no this and that. If you see what we doing with your own eyes in Arizona, you see what we doing, and all you do is minimize the fucking screen and go back to business. Open that motherfucking screen up. Talk about it. This is the solution right here.